Coin 6 News breaking news alert. We begin with breaking news at six. This huge commercial fire with smoke pluming out. We've been watching this for the last couple hours. This is in North Portland, also slowing down traffic nearby on I-5. Let's switch to Lisa Balick, who's been live on the scene for the past few hours. Give us an update, Lisa. Yeah, hi, we are here with Rick Graves from the Fire Bureau to give us an update on this commercial structure fire at Shin Shin, which is a factory that makes noodles. And there was a grease fire that started this all and still well underway. Rick, take it from there, and we're going to actually step a little bit out of the way so we can see what's going on behind Yeah, us. so you're right. We, this fire came in at 404. Uh, it was an, a grease fire on the elevated hood. And it's now gone to a third alarm assignment, which puts about 85 members here. We're cycling our crews through the rehab area. As they work and kind of get a little tired, we send them over. They get a little bit of water, get to sit down, cool off, and then they come back to work. Uh, we have dropped one of our aerial ladders down for a while, and we were putting it straight into the uh, structure itself. So we have 2,000 gallons per minute coming out of that. And we're putting like 10,000 gallons a minute on this structure. And we just need more water, and it's just going to take some time to put out. Step a little bit towards me. We can get a better shot, I think, of what's going on behind you. We're still seeing flames at this point. This has been now at least a couple of hours. Yep, yep. We're two hours in, and there's a, there's a significant amount of fuel on the inside of this structure. And due to the age and the conditions of the walls and the fire that's affected the structure itself, we're not going to go in. It's a little dangerous for our members. We're, in fact, away from the collapse zone and uh, just putting as much water into the structure as we possibly can in any opening there is. And you told me earlier the folks that were inside at the time got out safely? Yes, everybody on the inside of the structure was able to get out safely. You've that got about true. how many firefighters at this point on this fire? We have about 85 members here. And we also have another fire that just kicked off in uh, North Portland where we got another 26 members going that direction. That's what I heard. You got to call in mutual aid? That one doesn't look like mutual aid yet, but we'll probably be getting close. Probably need to have Vancouver come and help on that one if it gets any bigger. On this fire, all right, sir, a lot of concern as far as it's spreading to other structures. I mean, a lot of these are concrete buildings, fortunately. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, this is not abutted up to anything. There is a, a space between this building and all of the, the surrounding buildings. It isn't a tight, uh, tightly close-knit structure to anything, so it might extend if the walls collapse. It may extend out to some of the vehicles that are parked alongside it. But it's probably not a concern to extend to one of the structures. Biggest difficulty at this hour? Say again? What is the biggest difficulty at this hour? You know, just getting enough water here. The distance from the hydrants to this particular fire is quite a ways. So we're having to have a lot of intermediate hydra or intermediate fire engines pushing the water as it's getting uh, pushed through the hoses. It, it has a lot of friction in there, so it just takes a lot of energy to get the water from the, the hydrant that's supporting the, the nozzle. Give me some idea with the firefighters as well. I mean, they are fully geared up. How many pounds is that? And I see them actually individually hauling enormous hose lines as well. Yeah, How much weight is that? The equipment can be up to 70 to 80 pounds of extra weight. Uh, that would be a couple tools as well as a hose line. Here, we're not necessarily transporting hose lines in. All the hose lines, as you can see, are on the ground. But those are those are uh, to protect the men and women from heat. So consequently, heat doesn't get in. Well, heat doesn't get out either. So you sweat, you get very, very warm on the inside of that, uh, that turnout gear. And so we, we like to cycle our, our members through the rehab so they can get some water and just settle down, cool off a little bit, and then get back to work. All right, Rick Grace from Portland Fire Bureau. Thanks very much for taking the time, Good. stepping out to uh, give us an update on the situation. Again, they're going to be here for quite some time, as you can see in the photos from our photographer, Ethan Pierce. There are still flames shooting out of this building. Keep in mind, this fire has now been going up for more than two hours. We're going to send it back to you in the studio. Okay, that three-alarm blaze did start about 4 o'clock. It is a stubborn blaze to put out, as Rick Graves told us.